Yes, it's right! Throughout the history of the universe, the gods have waged war, not on humankind, but against one another. Hey, hey, hey. what about, uh, what about Zeus? You know, he blew up Vesuvius. <laughs> Boom! Shut up, John. I'm trying to do our introduction. If you want to see the gods duke it out, you've come to the right place. This is High Res Expo 2017. I'm Morgan Freeman. You may remember me from movies. Uh, and I'm John Madden, and you might remember me from sports. And this is Smite, Battleground of the Gods, in Atlanta, Georgia, for the High Res Expo 2017. As you can see, the fans are excited, John. Yeah, they're all dressed up in costumes. This guy's dressed like a nerd. I have to admit, I don't know a lot about Smite, but I do like this costume quite a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of intricate work that goes into the process of making these, these, these costumes. Ah, scary clown! Let's get on with the show. Yeah, Pedialyte had a tough year. He got an F on a geometry quiz, and then his mom and dad grounded him because he told him to go fuck themselves. He said, he, he, said, he said, go fuck yourself, I'm Sylvanas. And his dad was like, not in this house, you're not, little mister. And then, and then he was grounded for a month. He couldn't, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't play Smite for a month. Oh, Fenrir, the beast from Norse mythology, the god killer. He wants to eat all the gods, John. I don't know about any of that, but I saw him out of the taco truck, and the burritos look pretty scared. John, the right lane's moving over in the mid. I think we're in for a fight. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a giant shark jumps out of the ground and eats them all up. Well, it looks like you were right, John. There's the giant shark. Yeah, let, let's go. Let's go back and take a look at that one again. You know, here's Fenrir. He's taking a pretty bad beating, and then all of a sudden, hey, <laughs> Jaws attack. Oh, the shit is hitting the fans, John. Yeah, I don't know about shit, and I don't know about fans, but here comes a giant shark attack. And that's your Sharknado, everyone. So Captain Twig, as Fenrir, initiated that attack, and then all the other guys, they, they you know, they didn't get the shark attack the way they wanted it. Obey tried to do a whole bunch of shit right there, and then they missed with a bunch of it, and then Energy came back and picked them off one by one. I think now is a good time for me to go use the bathroom, John. What do you think? Hey, I just went bathroom in my pants. Yes, the red team is doing a lot better than the blue team, aren't they, John? You know, Obey has gold advantage, but they're down a bunch of kills and towers. You know a lot about this game, don't you, John? Yeah, you know, I'm the second string solo lane for Obey. When they need me, they'll just call me up and I'll come down. I learned everything I know from Pretty Prime. I used to hang out with him sometimes when he was five years old. Now, John, I've got some terrible news. Due to snow apocalypse here in Atlanta, Georgia, our other commentators couldn't make it in. These poor flowers are shattering upon impact. Look at the snow drifts, John. Yeah, that reminds me of the ice bowl. The streets are desolate, John. That means we have to pull double duty. So here we are at High Res Expo 2017, and this is Paladins. What can you tell us about Paladins, John? Well, you know, it's a game, and then, and, well, it's a game, and then these guys here are going up against these other guys to be champions of the realm. Burrito versus District 69. You know, John, it just occurred to me that's probably a sexual reference. Yeah, you know, some guys like to use a burrito. <laughs> I don't. No, John, the 16, never mind. You know, this is a really exciting game seven because because Burrito got 4 and owed in the first round on Frog Island. And then, and then now they're back on Frog Island and we'll see what they're gonna do. They've had a lot of tight matches. This is bound to be, uh, uh, bound to be a real barn burner. And if there's anything more exciting than a barn burning down, I don't know what it is. Yeah, you got the cows in there screaming, the horses in there yelling for help. <laughs> hey, it's just good old-fashioned family fun. And with that, let's begin. And Roxas, you know, that's that cookie company that tried to tried to compete against Oreo. No, John, you're thinking of Hydrox. Who do you think is gonna win this one, John? Yeah, I would say burrito's gonna win because anytime I order Chinese food, I always get a burrito. I see. Wait a minute, don't you mean Mexican food? Hey, 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 no, because when I have Chinese food, I'm always hungry half an hour later, and then I get a burrito. Oh, I see. Okay. 
John, is Bonker even human? You know, a lot of people on social media say Bonker's not human at all. He's some kind of robot, like T-1000 or T-69 or something. He comes back in time to save Sarah Connor. So, no, he's not human. Well, that makes about as much sense as anything you say. Hey, Phil's got more hooks than a tackle box. Burrito Esports gets the lead in Game 7. It's amazing, and you know, this guy here's drinking his energy drink and drink it up buddy you're gonna need it that's a heck of a clutch win for bonker right there let me tell you holy shit bonker with the triple kill and, and here's the crazy part bonker's a sub not a sub like a like a sub sandwich or a submarine underwater going ping uh, hunt for red october no he's a sub like he, he substituted in for another person, and then, and this is the biggest game ever in, in the Paladins, and then and then they, the sub is coming in, and, and he's outperforming everybody. Oh, see, there you go. Bonker fell off the ledge. You know, that, that right there, that's a sub mistake. And we're back with the Smite World Championships now. Oh, that attack didn't hit anyone. And then that guy jumped over here. You see this? All these attacks are going for nothing. Oh, it's five versus, oh no, there's Ratatasker over, and then the other guy shows up, <laughs> a shark attack, and then one guy down, it's five on four, and then the guys are going to pick the other guys off and then put them in a basket, pretty little bow in their hair, and then you're done. It's prom night in America, and, and these guys, are, they, they left their panties in the back seat of Daddy's Tor uh, Torino. And the shark's coming to get you. You can't beat up a giant unless you got five swords and a, and a pinwheel and, and $5 to get an Uber to go down to Chipotle and get a burrito. Hey, and these guys are over here. I don't even know what the hell's happening now because I've lost track of, of what state I live in. And my bus is outside with the pipe going up in and the energy just beat up a fire giant. And this phoenix here is dead, but it's okay because phoenix has come back from the dead. That's what they do. And the giants are always like, hey, you got to leave me alone, buddy, because my tower fell down. And if, if you win, you get gold panties. That was the most eloquent play-by-play -play I've ever heard, John. And we're back to the Paladins Invitational Championships. Burrito's up three to nothing in the finals. If D69 wants to break Burrito, they need more firepower. And we're back to Smite, and these guys here have to take the Phoenix down. Whatever the hell that means. You know, Fenrir's sort of like Aaron Rodgers. When he's good, he's good. And when he's not, he's really worthless. John, none of these people want to hear about that. Back to Paladins. Phil's got more hooks than 100 pirates. Yes, John, with the hooks, we get it. John quit hitting the button. Now we're back to Smite again. You know, Fenrir over here, he's coming down the lane. And these guys are coming down. Everybody's coming in because this is going to be the last stand right here. If they win, they win the big sh big time, and then they've won two years in a row. And, and you know, these guys over here are coming in. Everybody's on call, and then these guys are going to get it duked out. Shark attack's coming in, and it's the last stand, and they did it. They won. Look at this guy. I won again. I did it last year, and then I did this year, two years in a row. Look at that. And then these guys are slapping each other on the back so hard they're going to leave bruises on there, and the moms are going to say, what happened to your back, honey? And then he's going to say, I won the big game, and I got slapped in the back. Meanwhile, NRG, you know, they 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 won the two years in a row, and then and, 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 and then obey, they didn't win. So then they get second place, which is still pretty good. They get a lifetime supply of of, of rice aroni, and then they get a they they get a bus ride home. John, what do these guys win? And if it's anything like the Super Bowl, liquor and whores. I'd better get started practicing my smite game, John. I love liquor and horse. This could be it. Burrito Esports is going to win the Invitational. Look at him go. He's like Legolas. You know, Legolas was an elf and that Gimli was a dwarf. And then look at those guys. Boom. And there are your winners for the 2017 Paladins Invitational. Burrito. Yes, go Burrito. On behalf of John Madden and me, Mr. Morgan Freeman, enjoy life, children. Because someday you'll be dead. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, for more videos like this one here, subscribe to Game Society. And for celebrity impersonations, go to jasonsvoices.com.
To see the extended full-length video, click on the annotation below.